hello guys once again welcome to my channel my name is Gordon Abogoye and in today's tutorial we're going to be discussing on binomial distribution binomial distribution it is the frequency distribution where only two mutual exclusive where only two mutual exclusive that is outcome are possible such as gain or lose head or tail yes or no success or failure so you can see only two mutual exclusive are possible it's only two results you can get gain or lose head or tail yes or no success or failure so let's move further here are the characteristics of um, binomial distribution one says there are only two possible outcome on a particular tree of an experiment only two possible outcome on a particular tree of an experiment so that is one um, of the characteristics in the second characteristic says the probability of success p remains constant from one tree to another that is another characteristic. The probability of success, which is P, probability of success, remain constant from one trail to another. Then the third characteristic says the probability of failure, Q, on any trail is 1 minus P. Don't forget, the probability of, Q, of failure, Q, on any trail is 1 minus P. That is, if you are not giving Q, if you are to look for your Q, it is Q equals to 1 minus P. 1 minus P will give you the answer of Q and remain constant from one trail to another, right? That is the third characteristic of binomial distribution. Then the fourth characteristic says each trail is independent of any other trails. This means that the outcome of any trail does not affect um, the outcome of any other trail. The outcome of any trail does not affect the outcome of any other. So they are all independent of each other. So let's move further. Here's the formula for binomial distribution. If um, any question has been given to you to solve on binomial distribution, we say probability in bracket x equals to um, um, equals to um, c x raised to the power n bracket p raised to the power x q raised to the power n minus um, x equals to um, coefficient. Sorry, I'll cut that, please. Here's the um, formula. It said P bracket X equals to combination X raised to the power N in bracket P raised to the power X um, bracket Q raised to the power N minus X equals to N factorial um, all over X bracket N minus X factorial. Um, then we move further and said P raised to the power X Q raised to the power N minus X. This is the formula for binomial um, distribution. One. So let this, this um, here is narrating what is on um, the uh, formula. We say me, um, the mean equals to NP. That is, if you are asked to look for mean, so you are using NP, that's N times P, equals to number. The N stands for number of trail. The P equals to probability. That is NP. Now, two, variance. If you are to look for variance, variance is NPQ, which is N times P times Q, where Q is equals to 1 minus P. Don't always forget. Q equals to 1 minus P. Then standard deviation equals to NPQ under the standard deviation. So you get the root of this and you get um, your standard deviation. Then moment coefficient of squeens equals to Q minus P all over standard deviation. So this is um, for moment coefficient of squeens. Then moment, um, in the other place, there is moment coefficient of quintuses here. Moment coefficient of quintuses, where we have 3 plus 1 minus 6 pq, all of our standard deviation. So this is, um, these are the basics you need to know on binomial distribution. So let's try a test on um, one example on binomial distribution. So this example says, an equipment test is repeated on three separate occasions. The probability that the test is successful on each occasion is 0 0.35. Calculate probability that out of the three tests, there are A, zero success, B, one success, C, two success, then D, three success, E. They said we should compute its mean and variance. That is why don't forget your mean, which is said NP. Your variance says NPQ. So let's start by doing what? Bring it in our formula, which is P bracket X equals to combination x raised to the power n bracket p raised to the power x bracket q 
first of all, n minus x equals to n factorial all over x bracket n minus x factorial. Then we'll move further and say p in bracket raised to the power x q raised to the power n minus x. You see? Where we have um, on here, where we have um, our n is equals to number. They said an equipment test is repeated on three separate occasions. That is three separate occasions. The three is representing the number of times. Three separate occasions. Then the probability of success. The probability that the test um, is successful on each occasion is equals to 0 0.35. That is the probability, 0 0.35. Now, um, Q equals to 1 minus P. Equals to 1 minus 0 0.35, which is equals to 0 0.65. You see? Now, let's start with um, A. A says 0 success. A which is p in brackets x, which is x, as we are starting from zero success. Here, um, let me just put it down here as a in brackets. Don't forget, it's the same. a in brackets. The a, we are start solving for this. x equals to zero, right? Now, in this formula, using this formula now, the x now is zero in bracket, equals to combination um Combination x, which is here, combination x, x is 0. n, what is our n? n is 3. In bracket, p, probability, is 0 0.35. In bracket, raised to power x, raised to power 0. In bracket, q is what? What will you get in q? We have 0 0.65 in bracket. And this is n minus x. n is what? Our n here says 3 minus x, which is 0. Then we'll move further equals to these are two different these are two separate formulas you can either use this or use this but right now we'll be using um this um n factorial to solve it all up down so the n is what we have n is three three factorial all over x zero in bracket three minus um f um x which is three minus zero factorial and in bracket here we have um 0 0.35 raised to the power 0 in bracket q is what? 0 0.65 raised to the power n times n minus x, which n is 3 minus 0. Now, we move further and say 3 factorial, which is equals to, this 3 factorial, which is equals to um, 3 times 2 times 1. That is 3 factorial. All over, um, um, another 3 factorial all over 0. Okay. Here we have factorial 2. We have factorial 2. Where we have um, 1 um, times. Okay. Um, sorry. We have to um, take it gently, step by step, so that you won't get confused right, um, right here. So, we move further. And say this raised to the power of this is one, right? Raised to the power of this is one. So we come, let's cancel this first. So you go carefully, carefully, careful sampling is a buyer. Now we come, say three factorial all over zero factorial bracket three minus zero factorial. Um, 0 0.35 raised to the power of zero is one. So we say times one times this bracket, we say 0 0.65 raised to the power 3. So we move further and say equals to 3 times 2 times 1 all over 1 times bracket to um, 2 times 3 times 2, 3 times 2 times 1 which is the factorial, because 3 minus 0 here don't minus anything. Then we'll say, these are the factorials already. So it's on bracket. So it's on bracket. Then we say times this 1 times 
0.65 change to power 3 um, gives us 0.274525 equals to once working 3 factorial 3 times 2 6 times 1 6 1 times 3 3 times 2 um, 6 times 1 is 6 so we're having 6 divided by 6 times this 1 times 0 0.274525 um, still gives us the same thing so we times it by 0 0.274525 and here our answer is 0 0.27 this is for a a equals to 0 0.27 that is we have gotten our a so let's move further um to solve for um, um the b so i'm gonna bring another sheet in because this one is already filled up front um the front and the back is already um filled up so i'll be bringing another in which will start here okay now for um for the this um for the b now where we are having a b one success now for b for b one success one success the same formula we are using p in bracket which our x now our mean now is equals to one equals to 1 bracket equals to combination 1 raised to power 3 bracket p which is 0 0.35 in bracket put open bracket again 0 point which is q 65 raised to power um here is risen power to power 1 don't forget here is risen to power n minus x which is 3 minus 1 equals to 3 factorial all over x which is our x now is 1 factorial in bracket 3 minus 1 in bracket factorial here we are having p which is already 0 0.35 raised to power 1 and here we are having 0 0.65 raised to power 3 minus 1 so we move further and say um we move further and, and say this 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 and this that's what we are picking out right so let's move further it's equals to 3 factorial is um 3 times 2 times 1 all over 1 factorial is here you know it's here we have um 1 factorial 1 times here we have here is already minus already this sign is already two we say two times one so this one factorial is becoming but it's one times one is one so we move further and times it by this 0 0.35 times um, raised to power one is still 0 0.35 so we say 0 0.35 times 0 0.65 um, raised to power you know here now is raised to power 3 minus 1 so this 3 minus 1 is minus in it so it's giving us 2 so now 0 0.65 raised to power 2 is 0 0.4225 so summing all this up um, um, we will get in our final answer now because this one cancel this one one times one one it cancel itself. Two cancel uh, this two uh, right here. So we're having one. Three divided by um, one is three. So we say we we'll go further and say we we'll go further and say um, equals two. When you sum all this up, because there's only three here, you sum all this up. You're going to get on your calculator zero point four four. 3625. So if we are to approximate um, this, we are having 0 0.44 as our B, which is one success. So we've gotten our one success. So let's solve for C. C, don't forget the question. C says 2. 
Our x here in C is equal to 2. So we say P in bracket 2 in bracket equals to um, combination 2, which is x raised to the power number 3 in bracket probability 0 0.35 raised to the power 2 in bracket 0 0.35 in bracket 2. In bra okay, here is n minus um, x, which is 3 minus 2 equals to 3 factorial all over 2 factorial bracket 3 minus 2 factorial. And here in bracket 0 0.35 raised to the power 2, bracket 0 0.65 raised to the power 3 minus 2, which is 1. So, let's come down to um, where um, we are supposed to go. So, in um, doing this once and for all, so we can just go further since we know how the factorial um, works. So, let's say it's equals to 3 factorial all over 2 factorial 1 factorial times 0 0.35 raised to the power 2 is giving us... Um, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, times 0 0.65 equals to, the answer is equals to 6, zero, okay, 6 divided by, 6 divided by 2 times 0, because once you, 2 factorial, 2 times 1, 2 times 1, 3 factorial um, says, 3 factorial says um, 3 times 2 times 1. So 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. It's 2 factorial, 2 times 1 is 2. So 6 divided by. So we now times it by this number, right? Which we are having here as um, 0. Here already, 0 0.1. We're having 0 0.079. If you divide this and this and sum this all up, the answer will be equals to 0 0.2388. As our B, as our C, I mean. So this is the final answer for our C. Now for the D. The D says three success. He said three success. That's X equals to three. Now the formula still goes on here and say P in bracket three bracket this equals to combination 3 raised to the power 3 bracket 0 0.35 raised to the power 3 in bracket 0 0.65 raised to the power 3 minus 3 0 you know that already equals to normal um, of formula 3 factorial all over 3 factorial in bracket 3 minus 3 factorial okay then we'll move further and say the probability 0 0.35 raised to power 3 in bracket 0 0.65 raised to power 3 minus 3. So, you see, as we move further and say 3 cancel 3 factorial, it cancel themselves. You say equals to 3 factorial all over 3 factorial and 0 factorial, which is from here. Okay? Then in bracket 0 0.35 raised to power 3. So, 0. 6, 5 raised to the power 0, right? Which is equals to, here, we got 1 from here. 1 um, times, 1 times, because anything times 0 is what? Is a goner, so no more use, right? 0 0.35 raised to the power 3 is um, 0 0.04 0 .04 eight seven five which our final answer is zero point zero four two eight seven five if you are not getting cleared you can drop a comment below on this section and i'll um, explain it more better and clear you get clarity on this so we have gotten for the d now the e e says we should compute for mean and variance now the e now says e for mean, which is equals to NP, equals to N times P. Our N is what? Number 3 times P, 0 
which is one point the final answer is 1.05 um, then for variance which our variance is n p q which is n times p times q then the answer um, on our variance says our n is what 3 times what p 0 0.35 times q 0 0.68 equals 2 and 0 0.65 sorry which is our q don't forget oh my pen wants to oh okay let me tie this properly 0 0.65 right which if you times 3 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.65 total answer is 0 0.68 so this is how to go about your binomial um, distribution. Following this step by step, we'll get a good result in the ending. So guys, if you haven't already, I would like you to click to my subscribe button and the notification icon and get notified whenever I post a video right here on this channel. See you next time, guys. Bye. All right, guys, after getting on this lecture, I would like you guys to click to my subscribe button right there, there. Click that button right there and the notification icon, that bell icon, always so that you get notified whenever I post any video right here on this channel. See you next time, guys. Bye.